The Teen Phantom Part 23 in audio. Susie is upset with the state of affair. Why are you staring at Charlotte Bill? Charlotte looks up at Bill his gaze is still intent on her face, she looks into his eyes, Charlotte has crossed the threshold of his spirit, sincerity, kindness, and respect, which gives her an awesome feeling, she has never experienced it before, it is as if their spirits entwine. I am not staring I just have her under observation. You are not beautiful, you are certainly cute though, if you used makeup you would ruin that intimate innocent look. Bill is very serious, I can feel those cosmic rays radiating from your eyes Charlotte, I know of only one person with such eyes as yours. Oh no that cannot be, your mouth and the way you use it is similar but you don't have that cute little English accent as she does, you do have that same energetic personality, I see that great concern. Who is it Bill? Who do you know that is like Charlotte? Bill lets his gaze fall to his hands on the table, he is very serious and doesn't speak for a while. Susie looks at him a bit stressed and she seems very uneasy. Bill speaks casually, just someone I met a while back. Do I know her? I doubt it. What is her name? Susie, don't get worked up about her I never had an affair with her I love you Susie, there is no reason for you to worry. Susie is more at ease now, Bill evidently satisfied her mind. You truly stir me it would be rude to pry into your life. You are very young to have so much going on in your life of course you seem much older than you look. They are silent for a while. Charlotte looks at her hands on the table trying to keep her cool, Bill is looking at Charlotte's face with concern. You are a clever little thing, your success keeping your association with Jim a secret from your mother is clever, I don't see how it could be possible and for over three years, I see how it would bug my sis but I am shocked that she didn't question your ability to help Jim with his schoolwork but she didn't. Jim gets better grades than most kids who go full-time without any absences, his grades have been excellent since he started skipping school so much you must be good for him. I don't know that it has anything to do with me personally Jim has a purpose in life now, I do help Jim some but it is not one-sided with Jim, he is always there for me when I need him. It may seem strange Charlotte, I have never thought about a purpose in life until today. You really stir a person's mind I would truly like to work with you and Jim on the idea you have about a debate, I realize it will take a lot of organization. If you would like later on this summer I will contact you and Susie, we will get together and see what we can work out. That would be terrific wouldn't it, Susie? It would indeed, Susie put in. My life is secluded and private I discuss nothing of value in public it is all behind closed doors. Charlotte, I am very much aware of your carefulness your secrets are not for reasons of your liking, they are serious necessities, if it were not for the great respect and concern I have for you, I know far too much. Susie looks at Bill with a fussy and baffled look, Charlotte hopes she does not start pushing at Bill with questions again. You will be loyal and dedicated to our purpose Bill. What do you think about Carol, Charlotte? I know little about Carol Susie but if she does not come clean Jim will cut all association with her, any association with losers just pulls you down or breaks your heart. You know Jim very well and you must know a lot about my sis too, for the last couple of days she thought she had lost Jim for good. I have never known her to be so depressed and do so much crying, it worries our mother, I am telling you this in confidence she is not aware of my knowledge of the crying. I heard Carol tell some of her friends that she was going to quit even if it kills her, she did refuse to go to the last few parties, her friends are wondering what is going on with her. She must quit for herself not for Jim it is her life at stake. Bill looks very thoughtful. You are the first person I have ever seen get through to her she respects you very much. Susie blurts out and how, you hold Jim in the palm of your hand, the way you manipulate boys could be very upsetting. Manipulate, 
I do not manipulate anyone. Bill turns to Susie, she is just being honest Susie she just let Carol get a good look at herself and the life she is missing Charlotte is not a manipulator. Since Jim has been with Charlotte Jim became a great person, even the teachers know something good has happened to Jim, Charlotte, and her friends are part of what happened, Charlotte is not a flirt she just cares, it is not a boy and girl thing, she would defend Carol as quickly as she would Jim if Carol was right. Susie is embarrassed and looks as if she may begin to cry, I suppose you're right but it doesn't keep a person from being jealous, then Susie excuses herself to go to the restroom, Charlotte volunteer to go with her, Susie says she wants to be alone for a while and think things out, Charlotte lets her know she is sorry for her defensive attitude, she accepts Charlotte's apology and tells Charlotte she understands and that she has problems she will need to sort out. Bill and Charlotte are silent for a while when Charlotte glances over at Bill she realizes he is feeling very sorry for Susie. She will be okay Bill, she does need time alone, I will try to have a heart to heart talk with her later. Bill pulls a quarter from his pocket, he snaps the edge of it to make it spin like a top on the table, he is very sad and troubled. Susie is ashamed of her parents the way they live. She didn't want me to meet them I insisted and she gave in the one time, after that, she wouldn't go so I visit them without her, they are the neatest folks you would ever want to meet. Bill continues to spin his quarter as he rambles on. He still appears to be somewhat depressed. Bill gets a good spin on his quarter, then snatches it up, and returns it to his pocket, it will not help me to fret about it. Am I bugging you with my problems Charlotte? I don't mind it keeps my mind off my own. You have problems too do you? Yes, I have a few, the facts and truth always solves them. Would you mind me throwing some of mine at you then? Not at all, go ahead I will help if I can. Bill looks down at his clasped hands and commences. I would like to enroll in your school but convincing my parents would be a problem and I wouldn't want to go if Susie couldn't. Tuition wouldn't be a concern, she can work it out at school she would need no help. Bill, you should lead not follow. I am amazed at you, you believe in male dominance do you? I do not use that term male dominance that is not in my Lexus that is very revolting and aggressive. Yes. I suppose it is how else could you say it? Say it like it is it is male respect or honor I did say lead I did not say dominate. Bill's puzzled look turns to ecstasy yes of course, I understand you are absolutely right. Bill, women should not marry men they do not respect enough to following their lead. There are very few women and girls who share those thoughts with you Charlotte. That is true but I am very grateful others ignorant and elusive concepts do not alter the truth. You truly amuse me with your integrity. Bill, we are speaking of one of the most tragic problem in our society today, men in general have shirked their duty, they only see the physical aspect of a woman, sex is all they have on their mind, they don't think about the spiritual qualities and end goals in life. Women like this because they like the feeling of having power over men. Many women and girls in this society are not concerned about security and the happiness in the future, they are just after what they think is a good time at the present, our present society has corrupted the minds of women, this has taken place within the last century. Bill, all the problems that are crashing down on this society is all self-induced, it is not like the sunrise or the sunset that we cannot stop, the solution is very simple, and successful, just stop feeding the social garbage to our little children. As soon as a child can set up the child is babysit, and gorged by the violence on TV, it is as a farmer slops his pigs, then it is not long before they pour the sexual slop into the trough. Even with the problem of homosexuality, they prompt and worsen it by putting a woman in the place of a man, of course the fancy name for it is women rights, I suppose we could call it political correctness. 
With some women the way they strive to take the position of a man in society it would be like living with another man, her husband would have to lean a little toward homosexuality to have sex with her if personality had any meaning in their sexual relationship. The misplacement of women in society, could be some responsible for the trend of men looking to the younger females, I am with you on everything, I was not aware of my problems until I met you Charlotte. I am so sorry Bill, for making you feel uncomfortable. Oh no not at all, you just cause a person to start being honest with himself, you are very enlightening you are not a normal little girl. I am very resentful to be viewed in that manner Bill, what is a normal little girl, or maybe you could tell me how long short hair is or how short long hair is. Bill has an amused grin on his face. You confront things face on don't you reality or nothing, I am sure if I could figure out how long short hair was and how short long hair was I would know what a normal little girl was like, you really fascinate me Charlotte, it doesn't matter whether you are normal or not I have never met anyone like you, it is even hard to realize there could be someone like you. There are some annoying flies pestering them, Charlotte begins catching them with either hand according to where they are flying. She mashes them in her hand and she cleans her hands with her paper towel. After about 10 Charlotte glances over at Bill he has a little smile on his face and he is shaking his head. Charlotte had noticed him flinch when she first started then she gives him no attention after that. What is that all about Bill? After what I have been through with you and you sit there catching flies as the karate kid then you have the wit to ask me why I am so amused. You do not do it as he does. You are certainly successful and quick as a flash though. Don't take this as criticism, I see and say it as a compliment your whole personality seems humorous, it is all because of your point blank assertions, honesty and a sincerity that I have never seen with anyone but you. Please, don't change it is the most magnificent thing about you. I cannot change I must speak as I feel and think. That is just the way our great creator fashioned me, who is the karate kid. I do not believe this don't you watch TV or movies. Charlotte puts her head down and focuses on her hands no, neither. Why not you have got to be kidding. No, I am serious Bill, for one thing, I do not have the time and the movies I have seen did not interest me, I watch the wildlife and ecology movies we make. It is not as comforting as making them, it is so peaceful lying there under the starry sky watching the stars through the tops of the pines, being on a lake at daybreak is awesome, the atmosphere of the forest is paradise for me. I understand Charlotte, I am a lover of nature myself. You make wildlife and ecology movies is it just a hobby? No, I should not speak of it here and now I am sorry Bill. I am the one to be sorry I understand I should not have spoken a word and I am so sorry Charlotte. I am truly grateful Bill. You are very caring and loyal. What do you do for fun then? Fun is stressful to me I do not care for diversion. What do you mean by diversion? Fun it is diversion check it out sometime. I believe you I have no reason to doubt. It is humiliating to be ignorant of the definition of a simple word as fun though. I am sorry you feel that way I do not respect you less. Bill smile softly that is clearly seen you are a very kind little girl, you don't mind me calling you a little girl do you? I don't mind I am just a little girl. Those who think we have fun are kidding ourselves then. Yes. You understand me very well nothing could make me any more contented and satisfied than I am with my way of life.